welcome back to another adventure. Oh yeah, freaking thing set up. Okay, we're going over the hill. I'm over the hill, and we're going over it. So here we go. I'll just the AC on just a little more. And we'll be driving into the sun for the first half of this adventure. Here we go. I took the old mower out a little bit today. Had to do a little cleanup. I managed to fix the mower the other day. Taped on the cover to the generator. It looks a little tacky, but it's not that people line up to look at it. And we're going to have to order another one someday. I don't know. Figure out how to go about that. And i got to get out here and I'm going to have to get these uh, on, on the right there. That's all uh, burdocks that's standing up nice and tall. I come down here, I don't know, yesterday or the day before yesterday. Not that long ago. I can't remember actually. And uh, we put the salt block up there. So that's done. We got the brown one this time, the mineral. And I'm hoping that the next dog, Pongo, didn't spoil it all for me by him having a few peas and a crap around where the salt block is. What oh, the hell? Anyway. I'm here to enjoy my ride into the woods, pick up the camera, and it's not far from here actually. I even bought the hedge trimmers just in case there's something that needs to, a little bit of trimming. Now, where did I put the camera? It's on the left somewhere. Of course, I wasn't expecting all this freaking sunshine here. That might be right there. No, it's not. And I can't see a freaking thing here. Huh. Never planned on that. Gonna get into the shade here somewhere. Okay. Maybe it's this tree. It's soon. I mean, for sure it is. Well, I guess we don't need the wipers. Thank God we got a little sunshine finally. This might be it here. Uh-huh. Where did you put it? <laughs> Maybe I'll see it on the way back. <laughs> ah, there it is. Whew. And let's go get it. Hang on there. There we go. And it didn't even get bit, I don't think. Or at least not yet. Yeah, put the old seat belt back on. There we go. 
good. I was beginning to wonder. Another thing I'd like to do down here is uh, make a couple more spots. And maybe even flag them. I'm not sure about that part, but... Make it so that it's easy to get uh, the camera up and... You know. I'm hoping to get that female turkey on the... Uh, There we go. Oh, itchy already. They might have discovered something last night, too. We've got uh, our dogs in a nice large penned in area. And we already know that oh, there's a fresh poop right in the middle of the road. That got to be that coyote. Anyway. Now I forgot. Things happen like that. Been like that ever since I was a young guy. Forget. Anyway. Let's hope we can get to see something here tonight. And I don't really feel like taking the old... Uh, Hedge trimmer out, mocking that branch back there. Oh yeah, we gotta look and see where my son went and dumped. He dumped a load of uh, brush down here somewhere, of which we've been uh, waited way over uh, more than a year. For him to pick that up. So that's good. Plus I picked up three more piles of, uh, you know, like when they rake up all the, the needles and the stuff like that. They just left them on the lawns. And there were so many of them, you couldn't pick them up. Like, so they had to I sent them all out there, rake them up, make bigger piles... And then I used the pitchfork to uh, get them in the back of the wagon and then I just drug them off. So I'm pretty curious where Nick went and dumped the, uh, the load of his load there. So I still we get, I'm going to have to get my wife to give me a hand. We still have uh, a bunch of sticks to pick up. Jeez, I wish they wouldn't do that. Like, if I let my wife t do it, she'd come down here and rake the freaking leaves, too. Holy jeez. It's, it's mental that I'm even coming down here with the mower. Mind you, it's, it's a nice little trip down here. Oh, George, he's still there. George being that big white pine there. Oh, I see a piece of flagging down there now. I had a bush hog going there a couple of years back. It's all growing up pretty fast. Oh, look at this. Water on my road. I'm going to have to get some dirt to fill in there, eh? This is a new culvert. Just creeping along. If we stay off of it, the grass comes up where the road is, like where the tracks are. But if you keep driving over it, it just keeps it killed and then uh, it starts getting muddier. 
bit by bit. That don't look too bad down here. I come down here with Will there last week and we were throwing some of the stuff off the side. So it doesn't look too bad. Oops. Yeah, we kind of fizzled out up here. It's like 90% humidity 25 degrees Celsius. It's freaking hot out there. So I come down here with Will and we, uh, <laughs> I just throw him in the back. He just thinks that's great. I took the granddaughter the other day too, in the back of the mower in the wagon. Put the hard hat on him and uh, the muffs. Need to clean this up on the right just a little bit more. Now, where did he dump those branches, that sneaky bugger? I was hoping that he would take a... Jeez, I wish I was younger, better shape. Straight ahead there, not this way, but the last straight, where I came in, is the property is another couple hundred yards down there and there's a really nice creek down at the bo bottom of the of it that's probably about oh a good eight feet wide and the water when we went down and seen it before was just ripping down there it must have been a oh a good foot or two deep enough that I knew not to jump over it or try to jump across it That looks not too bad. He's brushed it back a bit down here. Anything helps. His old mother nature, you don't keep it up, she'll take it back and that's pretty quick. Because if you look at the old maps, there used to be, on this road, it was like herringbone, where they would go off on the sides to take the logs and stuff like that out. They did a pretty good job of creating a, a way to get into the woods to get the trees. But that's all overgrown now. You can't really tell where they are unless you look at the old map and then try to figure it out from there. You can get close. And there was some pretty big timber in here. It hadn't been cut for a while. Like, they, we got some stumps there that are, you know, two feet across. That's a pretty good-sized tree for up here. Yeah, so I got to fill that hole in. Hmm. Which is okay. We'll fill it in because that's the only place that's got a uh, puddle on the road. And this is a mile long. I've been working this thing for about eight years. Since I, in the summer I'd come down here. And I'd be either a, maybe with a pick, pickaxe or whatever. And uh, digging out some of the bigger rocks. It's before we mowed it. Trying to get it as smooth as I could. Even had a bulldozer gum come down here and try to straighten it up a bit. So it's not bad, you know, like it's it's a nice walk. All right, I gotta let my friend know. My cousin's going to go to Perth. forgot. Right. Can't, can't keep doing stuff like that. Usually what happens is I'll come up with an idea and then somebody comes to, the, comes to me 
and needs me to do something else. By the time I get back, I might not remember to do it, and then that's just the way it ends up. So, Shelly, I'm sorry. I'll get a hold of Rod. Time is 7.35. Yeah, this looks a lot nicer on the way back. And I'm hoping to see something besides me and Nicholas on the camera this time. The last time it was just me with the mower going back and forth in front of the thing. I forgot where the camera was. That was up by the potato patch. And it's ideal right now to get out there and start cutting that grass. Plus, there's a, there's a the burn ban has been lifted. We can burn to be the band out there right now if we want. I'm tempted, but. <sighs> you know, it's a struggle. And if I don't do it, who is? I know nobody. There's a good sized rock here I like to get out. There's a couple of them. And some of these bigger rocks that you can still pick up, they're great for around where the uh, dogs are digging into the side hill there at the house. You can throw them in the holes there, and they're big enough that they can't get them out. You've got one hole in there, all three dogs can get into it. It's like a cave. And we're going to have to take this clearing saw, the spacing saw, or whatever they call it, and clear off some of the trees on the side of the bank there before we can't even, before we lose our view. Look at these freaking lupins they got down here too now. So we're back at the old beaver dam. I get a kick out of it because every once in a while somebody tells me how to get the beavers out of here. They haven't been around here in quite some time. So what we'll do is we'll just mosey on back out home. I'll put the old... Uh, Hedge trimmer back. It's not bad. I usually have some pruning shears with me when I'm driving the mower. I keep it in that little toolbox area, whatever. And uh, when I'm driving along the side of the road, if I come across a branch that's in the way, I usually get out and... Uh, or just open up a thing there, slow down, cut it off, and just keep on trucking. Yeah. So. The farmer turned 55 today. And the rate he, he works, pretty hard pressed to see him get to 70. I mean, I think a guy's got to pace himself. That's one thing I've done for sure. All right. When I get home, I got to uh, scrub a pot, she says. 
put the dishes away. So that'll be the end of the big adventure. And we got no grandkids this weekend. Eee, yahoo. A bit of a break. Just the damn dog is. Yeah, I would. I might as well just come down here and cut the freaking cedars myself. I got some more up at the house there. I got to get them. Because I want to get the kindling all done for the winter. And here we are. Out of the jungle. Into the savannah. Huh. Yeah, I wish I could get him to come down here and cut. But I guess it was a little hard on his uh, mower blades. Oh well. I've been up four o'clock this morning. And I was babysitting the, the baby I put him down. And I was looking after the little girl and it was about ten to ten. The last time I remember looking at the clock. And I sat down beside her. Got her little video thing going there on uh, Mom's laptop, and uh, I didn't wake up till 11:30, and then it was like, oh my God, the baby's been in there for over an hour, probably awake. Little the little girl, she never said a darn thing. So I got her peeing, and then next thing I know is my wife's coming in. She wasn't too happy. Yeah, yes sir, it's just the way it is. I'd like to tackle this friggin' log here. I don't think I can pick the bugger up though, that's the problem. Checking the fence in here. Make sure, and I look in there, make sure there's no burdocks. Oh, these things are forming up now. I gotta get down here. Oh, maybe they're not. usually come back up this way and the reason is I don't want to spin the tires down there where I made that corner all right there that should be enough room to get back into the garage get rid of that dog and we'll see you folks later Anyway, thanks for coming for the drive. Oh, oh man. Okay. Oops. I'm just going to.
gonna shut down in a second here. And we're still planting. These will go into tomorrow. Get rid of them. All right. That's enough. We'll see you folks tomorrow, maybe. Bye-bye.